we're asked to evaluate the indefinite integral. We know there's no quotient rule of integration, so if we analyze the integrand function, notice how the denominator contains x to the sixth plus three, and the derivative of x to the sixth plus three is degree five, which matches the numerator, which gives us the hint that we should use u substitution and that u equal x to the sixth plus three. And now we find differential u, which is equal to u prime times dx. The derivative of x to the sixth plus three is six x to the fifth, which means differential u is equal to six x to the fifth dx. Notice the integral contains two x to the fifth dx, not six x to the fifth dx, so we could divide both sides by three to get exactly two x to the fifth dx, but I'm gonna go ahead and just solve for x to the fifth dx by dividing both sides by six, which gives us one sixth du is equal to x to the fifth dx. So now we know x to the fifth dx is equal to one sixth du, and the square of x to the sixth plus three is u squared. So let's write the integral in terms of u, Let's go ahead and factor out the two, and then because of x to the fifth dx, we have one sixth, and then differential u, and then we have one divided by u squared, since u is equal to the quantity x to the sixth plus three. Now we need to simplify and rewrite one divided by u squared as u to the power of negative two before integrating. Two times one sixth is one third, so we have one third times the integral of u to the power of negative two differential u, now integrating with respect to u, we have one third times u to the power of negative two plus one, which is negative one, divided by negative one plus c. Simplifying, because we're dividing by negative one, we have negative one third u to the power of negative one plus c, which means in terms of x, we have negative one third times the quantity x to the six plus three raised to the power of negative one plus c. Or if we wanted to, we could write this as negative one divided by the product of three and the quantity x to the sixth plus three, where the exponent on the quantity x plus three would be one, which we don't need. So either of these last two forms should be acceptable. I hope you found this helpful.